Welcome to the Drug Trends presentation. My name is Emily Leacher and I am a health educator with the Marshall Clinic Health System Center for Community Health Advancement. Today we will be talking about the use of marijuana. I first want to start to talk to you about what marijuana is. Marijuana is a green, brown, or gray mixture of dried leaves, stems, seeds, and flowers from various species of plants such as the cannabis sativa and cannabis indica plant. Marijuana is the most commonly used illegal drug in the United States. There is a substance in marijuana called tetrahydrocannabinoid, or THC. All forms of marijuana are mind-altering, or psychoactive, and change how the brain works. The amount of THC in marijuana determines its potency and its effects on the brain and body. Marijuana can come in many different forms, such as concentrates and edibles. A marijuana concentrate is a highly potent THC concentrated mass that is similar in the appearance to honey or butter and is often referred to as honey oil or butter. These concentrates are most often smoked in vape devices and has been one of the many links to the severe lung disease epidemic that happened last fall. Decades ago, THC concentrates in leaf marijuana peaked between 3 and 6 percent, but currently, typical high-grade leaf marijuana is between 20 to 25 percent THC, making the risk for addiction extremely high. Concentrates contain dangerously high levels of THC ranging from 40 to 80 percent and have been linked to a rise in emergency room visits and e an even higher risk of addiction. Like concentrates, edibles contain extremely high levels of concentrate, concentrated THC, which can cause dangerous side effects include, including psychotic episodes, hallucinations, paranoia, panic attacks, and Im impaired motor ability. On most edible marijuana products, there are directions on how much should be consumed to prevent a THC overdose. For example, if you had a chocolate bar that had marijuana in it and the direction said to eat one square, do you think you would actually eat one square? Let's be honest, how many people do you know only eat one square of a Hershey chocolate bar? I know I usually eat the whole bar. Additionally, edibles can take up to 30 minutes to feel the effects, so most people eat more thinking that it isn't working. This is an issue that poses a risk of THC overdose or experiencing extreme psychosis or panic. All major scientific and medical organizations agree that marijuana is both addictive and harmful to the human brain, especially when used as an adolescent or young adult. Long-term marijuana smokers have symptoms of chronic bronchitis and have a higher risk of heart attack. Marijuana use affects the parts of the brain responsible for coordination, memory, learning, and attention. Youth or young adult use is linked to anxiety and mood disorders. High doses of THC can cause psychosis or panic attacks while under the influence. So what can happen to your brain? Long-term heavy marijuana usage reduces levels of dopamine in the brain. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that acts as a chemical messenger and transmits signals between the brain's neurons or nerve cells. This is also the chemical that makes you feel good. Low dopamine levels are associated with a variety of medical issues, including depression, fatigue, and mood changes. Some of the other parts of the brain affected by marijuana is a slowed reaction time, increased appetite, and altered thinking, judgment, and sensation, just to name a couple. If you want to learn more about marijuana and how it can affect your body, visit the link in the description below.